What's going on guys? I'm back here today to make a video that I did not think I'd be making. I thought I was all done with the VP9 overhaul. But here we are back because HK Parts went ahead and made another thing that I just needed to have for the VP9. So here we are, let's talk about it. The VP9 gas pedal. So here we are. The VP9 gas pedal, in all its glory, simple part, simple installation. The old one pops out, the new one pops in, and that's it. But what's really nice is you'll see here from shooting, this thing, as it's not that big, it's not that wide, it gives you plenty of purchase when you're trying to keep this thing down. It really feels pretty good. I mean, I can get a little more than half of my thumb on there. People with bigger fingers or fatter fingers would still get probably at least half the finger. I mean, depending on how you angle your thumb, whether it's more canned or more straight. I mean, even straight, I mean, half of my thumb is on there. It really feels nice. Now, obviously this thing is all tricked out. If you follow the series the whole time, I'll link it above. You can go back and watch the whole build process. So it already shoots decently flat. I mean, the compensator does what it's supposed to do. It helps direct that gas upwards to keep that muzzle flip down. You know, it, it's not a race gun, but it's tricked out. I tricked it out because, you know, it looks cool. I wanted to do something a little different and, you know, they had everything that I, I needed and I wanted to do. So when this came out, no brainer, why not? I mean, it's already set up. What's one more thing? So here we are. But enough talking about it. Let's take some shots. All right guys, so the only downside I see to running this gas pedal on your VP9 is that if you already have a holster made for it, uh, whether it's one of the ones that HK Parts supplies on the website, they already have ones pre-made to accommodate the comp and all of that. As far as I know, they do not yet uh, supply one for the gas pedal. So what that means is if you already have a holster set up for this, you're gonna have to get a new holster made to accommodate the gas pedal. The protrusion on the side is too big. It's not gonna work. I don't even think you could really modify an existing holster to do that because you'd have to reheat it and there'd be a lot of stuff going on so you might as well just make a new holster so if you wanted a holster say you wanted to run it just as a competition rig and actually shoot comp with it you need a new holster or if you just wanted that you know this is like a range toy for you and you're going to shoot it at the range and you want a holster made so you can holster or practice drawing or whatever you're going to have to get something made so the only downside i can see to running this is now getting a new holster but the good news for you is if you've watched my reels uh, a lot of my custom holsters I've been getting recently, all the crazy wild stuff that, you know, whatever you can think of, uh, Custom Holster Solutions, I'll leave a link to uh, their IG below, have been able to do anything I can dream up. So, I have no doubt that they're going to be able to make holsters for these. I'm going to have them make a holster for me for this setup because the one I currently have obviously is not going to work. So we'll get that done. So guys, that's really the only downside I see to this is getting a new holster made. You're going to spend another couple hundred bucks to get that done, but if you've already spent a bunch of money on the pistol to trick it out and you want a really nice rig, and eh, what's another couple hundred bucks for a, a really quality purpose-made holster? So, that being said, let's take some more shots and we'll end this thing off. Don't forget, Steve MP5 on the Instagrams. I'll see you next time.